Empirical provide compelling, interactive learning across a range of delivery options. Live on site, live online, or online anytime, we have a training course that is ideal for you. For a no-obligations chat about your training requirements, contact us at empirical.com. When looking at radio access techniques used in modern telecommunication systems, you start looking at different terminology. So with the introduction of 2G, we started deciding you know, what technology or technique should we use to access the system. And the, the, the decision was made to use something called TDMA, Time Division Multiple Access. And a time division multiple access effectively means that at different points in time you give the resource to, to potentially different users. So, for example, it's now mine, it's somebody else's, it's somebody else's, and then it repeats again based on some form of timing process. However, as we moved into the 3G, the UMTS based system, we started using the term CDMA, code division multiple access. So to identify the multiple access to different users, instead of being time-based, it really focused on the use of codes, CDMA codes, spreading the signal, and therefore putting, if you like, different users on top of each other with different codes. And the idea is uh, we could identify cells, we could identify users using this CDMA-based technique. Now, the reason we did that was mainly to do with, it was obviously at the time, the, the best system that we could come up with. We then evolved into 4G. So 4G, 4G changed it again, and we started using, again, something that was even more efficient in terms of a radio access technique. And it was referred to as OFDMA, Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiple Access. Now, effectively, this is all about prov providing the, uh, or changing the, the radio environment such that there's lots of little things called subcarriers and we can group them together into resources and we could give these resources to somebody and then the other little bit of resources to somebody else and then over time it can all change so it still has an element of time but it also has an element of frequency so very dynamic very efficient and as we look at 5G 5G really just carries on that sort of same ethos with respect to OFDMA however it is a little bit different because 5G systems need to be scalable into what's called the high band frequencies and therefore they've had to change it slightly to accommodate this aspect but it's typically referred to as OFDMA however we typically use the term cyclic prefix on the front to denote the fact that we have various things changing more so than they did in the 4G system. Need to know more? Why not visit our store where you can choose from over 200 hours of video-based training? Alternatively, you can contact us to discuss any specific training requirements you may have.